Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be setting up the developer ribbon. If you're going to code in Visual Basics, if you're going to write macros, you're going to want to have your developer ri ribbon up and running. So let's go ahead and get that set. I am in Office 2010. So if you're in Office 2010, you just click File, go to Excel Options, go to Customize Ribbon, click on your developer uh, that under your main tabs click on the developer tab click OK that's going to show up our developer tab let's go through these real quick first thing is your visual basic uh, that's where you write your code that's where the code is housed so if you click on that it'll actually show uh, click show up the visual basic editor here it is this is the visual basic editor we'll be spending a lot of time here you're going to get really really comfortable with working in here and knowing exactly what's going on Click on macros, it's going to show a list of all the macros that you have open at this time, or macros that are tied to that workbook or are all open workbooks. In this case, we don't have any. You can record a macro, so let's go ahead and do that right now. If you, We're going to just record one called test. We're going to come to A1, we're going to type in hello world. And I'm going to hit stop recording now. Notice you can hit stop recording down here. So once I hit stop, you can rec you can also start your recording down at the bottom as well, which is pretty cool. So we've got that all uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. If we go back to our macros, we actually just loaded that one, which is a recorded one. I'm going to hit run, and it fills in it fills runs that macro that says put hello world into cell A1. Uh, pretty pretty cool pretty cool little. Uh, option that Excel offers as far as recording macros is probably the greatest way to kind of supercharge your ability to learn code is through that recording feature. Right here is your macro security. We're going to look at that. Um, I set mine to enable all macros. That's basically because I'm the one that's writing those macros or I'm getting them from a trusted source. Uh, if you do need to, more security, it starts with the most secure here. Just basically disable everything um, and then it becomes kind of more lenient as it comes down so set your setting according to what according to your needs add-ins are basically Excel workbooks that get added in uh, that open when Excel opens uh, really cool uh, pre-made ones that come with Excel so there's the there's the statistical pack there's also the solver pack uh, we, we also in our advanced lessons will that will actually be making some add-ins uh, they're super useful right here are uh, you can insert form controls or active X controls these are buttons drop downs uh, scrollers radio buttons, check boxes, etc. Form controls are more of Excel built in. ActiveX are actually, those are actual visual basic uh, code based controls. Uh, I prefer those because of their flexibility, but there are uses for both of them. In some cases, it will make sense to use a form control. In a lot of cases, it makes sense to do the ActiveX control. When you're using these controls, specifically when you're using your ActiveX control, you will use design mode to, to form those. We'll get into that as well. Let's look at properties. This is going to show us all the properties of the sheet. It tells us uh, different things about the sheet, the name of the sheet, etc. Um, it, and we're, let's look at the view code. This actually shows us all the code. Uh, shows us the code for sheet one. You might be able to see that, but that's highlighted. You can actually come in here and double click on the module. And that actually shows us the macro that we recorded. So it's basically select A1 in that in that active cell, put in hello world, and then select A2. That's that's the macro that we recorded. So that's kind of a brief overview of the developer ribbon. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.